Hi guys. In this video, I'm going to get things set up in here, hopefully, uh, to sort out a few PCs. I've got that broken... My, well, I'll start again. I've got my broken Windows 2000 rig down there. Put my arm in something. Anyway, so I'm going to um, start that one first. By the time I got my ass into gear and uh, start getting some of these PCs up and running and working, or at least doing something other than sitting around as very large and heavy paperweights. Why am I bringing a dirty t shirt into the lounge? Let's chuck that down. Oh, tripod. Where did I put the tripod? Tripod! Come out, come out, whatever you are. Stop licking my chair. <laughs> it's my chair, not your chair. Right, I had the damn thing earlier. Where did I put it? No, nope, it's for another video. No, nope, it's not there either. That's rubbish. Bloody blah blah. I thought it was down there, actually. Um. Oh, bother. Oh, well, I'll have to do without it. Perhaps I'll find it when I clear up some shite. What I'll do then, I'll move the tub off here, and I'll just sit you up here for the time being. At least you can sort of somewhat see what I'm doing. I've only got to put you down while I get a few bits up off the floor and move a few things. And I'll try and talk a bit louder because I know the further away I get, the quieter I get because of the crappy microphone. Right. <laughs> we go! This be the rig I want to work on. I have no idea why I'm keeping that. Do <laughs> you reckon if I sign up I'll still get the free MP3 player? <laughs> uh, what is it? Up to 8 megabyte BT total broadband from just 9 95 a month for the first 6 months. Well, that's old. <laughs> Isn't the good man? Managed to flip cat food up the front of that. Right. Turn it around so I can actually see. Um, might as well have that up that one as well. Can't remember if my internet cable is actually plugged in at the root. I know one of them fell out when I was having some problems the other day. There, there, there was a um, um, fault on the system in the area. Um, so I was without internet for I don't know about half an hour. That's all. Crap on the end of this as well, man. Where's that cloth gone? Where did I throw it? I don't know, there's one down here. Yeah, it was a bit annoying. Um, I couldn't remember BT's um, number to call for to see if there was a fault on the system. You know, there's a special number you can call that BT have that'll tell you if there's a fault in your area. Um, or any known faults, anyway. Um, but while I was on the phone to... BT representative of customer services. <laughs> For some reason that was stuck in the back of the tower. Um, the internet came back off. But um, I have to say he was pretty good. Um, well, he could have been a bit better with his customer service skill. I did feel like he was packed 
patronised me a couple of times. But, um... Oh dear. May need a new motherboard in this. I think I've just seen the problem. <laughs> um, well, I'll just plug in bits and bolts. Well, the stuff that I've got here already, I've got to go on a, um, I've got to go on a computer mouse hunt. Um, but I'm not sure how well that's going to show up yet. Let's have a look. You might be able to make out dots on the capacitors. And there's several of them like that, so I think that's why this machine has gone down. Um, I will power it up and just see if it does do anything, because I can't remember what the exact problem was now. But um, I think I can see what the problem is from here. Let me if I go up there. There's another two. It's leaking electrolyte. Um, and as I watched on EEV blog recently when he was repairing a plasma screen TV. It, that one's bulged there, but it isn't leaking. But the chances are, that's a dead cat as well. I wouldn't trust it. But, uh, I'm not going to be surprised if that does work when I turn it on. I don't think it will. Uh, but what I do need is a computer mouse. This is why I want some older motherboards so I can fix machines like that, because if not, that's going to have to be put on the back burner with the um, Windows 98 one in here. They don't have any friggin' boards. Uh, not ones that I'd want to use, because I'd rather use sort of motherboards that were around at that time, if I can. And I could probably use a Windows XP board on it, if I really wanted to. What was I looking for? Computer mouse, that was it. See, goldfish memory. I got sidetracked and then I couldn't remember what it was I was after. <laughs> right. Any old... Is that a rollerball? Yeah, I think... Is that a rollerball? I think all of them in that box are rollerballs. That don't matter, though. I have tested all of them. They all do work pretty... Actually, even the rollerballs I got out of that computer hall, which is in one of my computer hall vids. Um, I did test them all, and they do work pretty well for rollerballs. I was quite impressed. Uh, right, so I've got that, got that. The last thing I need is a power lead. I need what we call a kettle lead. I don't actually know the proper term for it, to be honest. I've always um, known it as a kettle lead. You see, we've got these ones, uh, which we call a clover leaf. I don't know if anywhere else in the world calls them a clover leaf, but... That's what I've known them as over here in Britain. And then we've got another clover leaf. <laughs> and another clover leaf. At one point I didn't have any clover leaves, now I've got a bloody box full. But not a kettle lead. <laughs> and I ain't kidding. All these cables in here, and I ain't got a bloody kettle lead in there. Oh. I must have one kicking around somewhere. I did have one in the kitchen. What have I done with it? Uh, annoying! Got one somewhere. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Sorry, Nemo. Oh, I bet there isn't one. Yeah. Nope. Some bitch. Right. Uh, I had loads kicking around. What have I done with them all? Where can I nick one out of? <laughs> nick, nick one. Where can I nick one from? There's nothing over here that's got one. Two. Right. Um. Let's have a quick think. I may have to pinch one out the back of one of those computers. It looks like if I ever come across any cat leads, I'm going to have to keep them. <laughs> On the count of, I don't seem to have very many left. I don't 
understand it, I had loads at one point. I thought they were all in there. Um, have we got one there that isn't zip tied? Right, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to shut the camera off for a minute. Um, just want to get that cable. And, uh, then I'll be back. So, uh, I'll be back by the magic of film work in like a second or two. Okay, I'm back. Um, so, I'll nick the power cable out of the monitor in the bedroom. So, socket is turned on, isn't it? Yes. I'll turn on. Nope. Dead. So I can guarantee you, all those caps are dead. So that's the problem. Now I've got two options. I can either A, replace those busted caps, because I can see one, two, three, four, five, six. All these six up here up the side of the processor are gone. Um, that one's actually all right. So is the bottom one. These two are also gone. But uh, I might change the other two just as part of the course. If I decide to do that, if not, I could just find another board to stick in here. So I guarantee you that's what the issue is. So I've got two options there. Got two options there. I don't know which one I, which route I'll take yet. But uh, well, at least I've managed to diagnose the problem. That reminds me. Um, I'll do it in this video. I was going to do a separate video of it, but I'll do it in this video. I'm going to ask around YouTubers as well that know about computers. Um, actually, I do believe I left this on. Did I? So it may have gone into sleep mode. Did it go into sleep mode? Yes, it did. Now, on almost every Windows XP I have, Firefox is doing this. <laughs> i just got to wait for it to connect. There we go. Um, it doesn't do it on every website. But, uh, it was doing this security thing and I had to add it to an exception. But, uh, it does it with some websites. I don't, like I said, I don't know if it's going to do it with, uh, Facebook. Facebook did work on this. Oh, it's going to work if I go to the, um, actual website, th um, through Google. But uh, earlier it wouldn't work when I tried to go into this um, bookmark link. See what it does now when I go to the bookmark link. Oh, it's going to work. It's going to call me a liar now. Well, in that case, I will leave it and I'll bring um, pull up one of my other um, laptops. And uh, I'll show you exactly what I mean. So I'll make another video on that. Because I've tried every setting I can think of. But um, it comes up with a security thing, you know, this is an untrusted connection. Do you want to continue? You click it, yes. Then you click add exception permanently or whatever it is. But then the site doesn't load up properly. It loads up in what I think a friend of mine said is safe mode. And because uh, if I could get one of my laptops to work, I'd have a laptop to use in bed until I can get the one off my brother. But like I said, I will um, dig up another, or dig out another laptop in a minute and do another video on it. Let's see, is it going to do it with eBay or is it going to work this time? No, oh, it's going to work. Right, alright then. Well, forget that. And I'll get another laptop set up up here. And uh, I'll know which one that which laptop I'm going to use. I've just got to find the power supply. 
Ow! I'm also going to knock everything over. That's the power supply I want. Use my um, Toshiba Tecra because it's the fastest XP laptop I've got. But unfortunately, it's got this stupid bloody security thing that I can't get rid of. Um, but yeah, I'll do a separate video on that and upload it. And uh, I'll ask around a few YouTubers. Well, when I say ask around, I'll ask them to watch the video and see if they can uh, <laughs> shed some light on the subject because it's driving me up the wall. But um, the thing I don't understand is I've got so many XP computers. Some of them do it and some of them don't. That one down there doesn't. Um, I thought it might be because they don't have an antivirus installed. Cause some of my laptops don't because they don't have enough RAM. Because um, I use AVG. And you need a minimum of a gigabyte of memory on your machine for AVG to work properly. Um, it will install, but there's several features that won't work. Um, so I've got a few laptops that don't actually have any antivirus on because of that. This one is one of them. So I don't think that's actually got enough memory on it. But apart from that, this wasn't working the other day. I took it into the bedroom and the damn thing wouldn't open up um, Facebook. And now it's decided to work. Mind you, this compact Evo, I have noticed, is a little bit temperamental at times. But it's perfect for what I use it for up here on the leather desk. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to say goodbye. If you want, you can thumbs up the video. If you want, you can thumb down the video. Doesn't bother me either way. Um, any comments and questions, you know where to leave them. And uh, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.